Welcome to my channel. My name is Juicy K. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I will be doing this makeup look. So hopefully you enjoy and let me stop talking and get into it. Alright? Over on my beats. Put the bend the hummus, the bends. Escalate swings, we can spend. Jumping up the tag walls with the tins. East Coast, West Coast, worldwide. For my plays in the hood, stay fly. And if you're bullet, let me hear you say bye. Anyways, if you would like to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So I already have my brows done and I'm going to go straight to my eyes. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm using that on my lids as a base for my eyeshadow. And I'm going to take a mini Real Techniques sponge and I'm going to blend that out. Right on top, I'm using NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I'm using this to enhance my shadow pigments a bit more. And I'm going in with that same sponge and blending it out as well. And I'm taking some setting powder to set everything together before I move on to shadows. For my transition shade, I'm going in with Rilger from the Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm using an e.l.f. Um, fluffy brush to blend it out. Using the same palette, I'm going in with the shade Cypress Umber. And I'm using that on my crease. Since I do have hooded eyes, I'm taking it a little bit above my crease. Because my lid space is so limited, doing that gives me the illusion that I have more lid space than I actually do. And now going back with that same fluffy brush from earlier, I'm just going to blend in the two colors together and erase any harsh lines. I'm taking a darker orange shade from the Morphe 3502 palette. I'm gonna go back in between those two colors, making it look a bit more gradient so it doesn't look like it just goes from one color to another. To define my crease a bit more, I'm taking this brownish color from the same 3502 palette. And I'm going to apply that on my crease, then taking that same fluffy brush from earlier to blend everything all out. Using that same Morphe palette, I'm taking a darker brown shade and a lip brush and I'm basically tracing where I want to cut my crease. I'm taking this color a little bit above my natural crease line and creating like a fake crease because I don't have a lot of lid space to work with. that I traced earlier I'm taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 and a synthetic flat brush and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease since I'm doing a half cut crease look I'm only dragging the concealer halfway through my lid
setting powder, I'm gonna go ahead and set that concealer in place. Using that same brown shade from earlier, I'm taking a mini smudger brush from e.l.f. And I'm applying that towards the end of my crease. Whatever that part of the eye is called, that's where I'm putting it. Now I'm going back in with that same dark orange shade from earlier. And I'm applying that right before that brown shade it's kind of hard to explain what i'm trying to do but basically i want to give it like another gradient effect so it doesn't jump from one color to the next going back in that same brown shade i'm taking a smaller and more detailed blending brush and i'm blending out the harsh lines I'm taking this Revlon Photo Ready IR thingy in the color 090 and I'm using the base side of it and I'm basically placing it over where I applied concealer and doing that will make my actual lid color come out more pigmented as opposed to using it by itself. Now for my actual lid color, I'm going in the 3502 palette and I'm taking this orange shimmery shade and I'm applying it on top of the base color that I applied. It looks very similar, just a bit more vibrant. I'm going back in with that same dark orange shade to blend out the rough edges. I went ahead and added some glitter where I cut my crease because I thought it was just too simple. And to do that, I'm using the NYX glitter glue and some craft glitter. Once again, I'm going back in with that dark orange shade and a blending brush to blend everything all out. I went ahead and did my liner and now I'm wiping away the fallout from the shadows before I move on to my face.
thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. That's good. You like this? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. The last one is the last one or <sighs> If you're not a